Hello everybody, it's that time of the week again, it's EPAD time and you better enjoy yourself or I'll destroy you! Okay, up next I'm going to earn my money as a TV host and then I'm going to connect the movie Otis to our next movie, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. So, here we go, strap yourself in. So Kevin Pollock, who stars in Otis, had a long career where he's done many things, one of which was voice work on... A 1985 made-for-TV movie called Ewoks, ha -ha, Battle for Endor. That's right. When it's all said and done, everything connects to Star Wars. Now, if you haven't figured it out already, Harrison Ford, who plays Indiana Jones, also played Han Solo, who hung out with the Ewoks in Star Wars. So there you go. Star Wars. All Ford positions are advancing. See, this is like Power Rangers acting. I've got a bad feeling about this, sir. You just move your arms and just try and figure out what they're going to say. I'm on my way. Sorry, I missed that one. Come on, hurry, hurry! Get ready to turn those clankers into scrap metal! Anyway, moving on, his partner in crime in this movie was also a bit of a ladies' man in the good old days. I mean, he drank, he smoked, he was married four times, and then, unfortunately, he got cancer. But that's just the way they rolled back then. I mean, this guy wine and dine Audrey Hepburn when they had breakfast at Tiffany's. But seriously, this guy's legacy has got to be playing Hannibal in the classic 80s TV show, The A-Team. Yes, that's right, we've got the late George Peppard giving it to the Nazis. I love it when a plan comes together. Get on the plane, B.A. I ain't getting no plane, Hannibal. Show sure you are. Look over that way. Why? What's over that way? Knock him out, face. OK. Every time he fell for that. And then a van would flip through the air and the guy would fall out and they'd cut away and he'd get up and be fine. I love the A-Team. Let's just watch that. OK, now what happens when you put Mila Jovovich's Fifth Element co-star Bruce Willis and Sex and the City star Sarah Jessica Parker in a movie together? You don't get a movie called Shop Hard, you get an action flick called Striking Distance and surprise, surprise, Bruce Willis plays a cop. Not just any cop, a marine policeman. Which has to be one of the lamest cops there is. It's like being Aquaman in the Justice League. Don't worry, Superman, with your super strength and x-ray vision and stuff. I'll talk to the fish. We've got it sorted. Plus, you have to make sure the bad guys get away by boat. I mean, if they drive away from the scene, you're screwed. Anyway, two things you should look for in this movie that you'll never see again are Bruce Willis with hair and Sarah Jessica Parker not wearing heels. <laughs> Just a side note, by the way, she was once named the unsexiest woman alive by a men's magazine in 2007 because she has a nose like my foot. If you think sucking someone dry is good, call me. Yes, catch up. <laughs> Really? There's only one of you. It seems like more, though. 